there are many ways to make your community a healthier place to live. One way is through citizen science. Residents and community groups collect data to better understand their local environment and address issues of concern. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency often collaborates with these citizen scientists to reduce pollution and act on climate change. I got involved right out of undergrad. I studied environmental science. I thought I was going to be doing work outside of my community, but found out that there was an asthma study taking place in my neighborhood, and, and as an asthmatic, uh, it was something that caught my attention. Living day to day in a community where all I saw was high traffic volumes, poor air quality, and adding more waste stress cessations into our community got me enraged. I think for me, it wasn't enough just to be mad. For me, it was exactly how can I utilize the tools, uh, whether it be education or advocacy, to empower myself. I felt like far too many of our community members feel like they don't have resources or they don't feel empowered. Part of that community monitoring that we did was personal, was personal monitoring, looking at how the ambient air quality is affecting one's personal health. And so the backpack study, which was a part of the South Bronx Environmental Health Study, was instrumental in that. And as a project manager at the time working with NYU, I got the full experience of exactly what was the logistics and, and pulling some type of monitoring to that extent off and looking at the direct impact of how um, working with the community through that process uh, enlightened them. And that if I can do something about that, then this is the way to do it. Citizen scientists take a stand for clean air, land, and water. If your community has an environmental concern, contact EPA or your state's Department of Health or Environment.